Hey guys, I'm back with another video and today we have a Kringle Candle Christmas Candle Haul. I know, so early. Uh, it is hurricane season here, so that means it's time to celebrate for Christmas. Yes. Uh, these candles, I believe, are coming out on September 7th um, at 9 a.m. There are six Kringle candles and six country candles. I have five out of the six Kringle candles, but specifically in the three-wick format. They sent those to me intentionally because they've seen the reviews on my channel and I tend to gravitate towards three-wick candles. So we have the ones that were available at the time, which is five out of the six six Kringle three wick uh, candles in my possession today. There's also really juicy fragrances in the country candle line, but admittedly, I didn't really love those last time around. So like it, I can understand why they might not have sent them to me this time around. Uh, so there's that. But I do still appreciate that Kringle does continue to send out uh, candles for me to review. Uh, despite having critical feedback uh, for the company, I appreciate that they're like open to that and they will still continue to send the uh, candles. Um, and if they don't, that's fine too. Uh, it's just, as a candle lover, it's just fun smelling the candles and speaking about it here on the channel and relaying that to you guys, uh, even if I'm like, you know, not actively buying these candles uh, after the fact, but like they're sent to me for free. So I'm not going to go out and buy more of them, if that makes sense, because I'm just not that compelled, honestly, to purchase any of them uh, for another time. But if they are sent to me, hello, yeah, I will review them because hello, they're free candles. So thank you so much. Uh, let's see. I have an affiliate code. It's called the Candle Channel. You can use that on the website to get a discount. Uh, it is an affiliate code. So us ambassadors do actually get a money kickback when you guys use that code. And many of you guys have already used it and I get a juicy payout for it. So thank you so much for everybody who uh, uses that code. Thank you to everybody who does support me, who understands me, gets me, and just like rocks with me on this channel. I so appreciate your support. Uh, now that's out of the way, let's get right into it. Uh, yes, yeah, so... I have mixed feelings on this super early Christmas launch. So, like, what I would, I mean, obviously this is coming from a perspective of Bath & Body Works lover. Uh, what I would, you know, presume or what I hypothesize is that maybe they're releasing it at this time frame to, like, kind of combat the earliness that Bath & Body Works does with their Christmas launches. But Bath & Body Works has Christmas candles out specifically right now because it's in a test phase. So they won't come out for at least another month to nationwide stores. And I still think Bath & Body Works Christmas candles come out early too. Uh, and so now that Kringle is, like, pushing that date even earlier for a wide release and actually, like, advertising them versus it being a test launch at a test market. So like with Bath & Body Works, the test launches are not intended to be publicized. They're meant to get a read and react in the early reading on uh, which candles are successes so they can make more of those or which ones are like flops so they don't make any of those. Uh, so that's kind of why Bath & Body Works releases them so early. But of course, they get popularized on social media. So we see them really early. But Kringle has these releasing September 7th, which it's just, I don't know. Um, it's still very hot here. I'm still even not in the mood to burn fall candles. The only reason I'm burning fall and Christmas right now is because as a reviewer, like that, that is what's relevant and current right now. So that's why I'm doing that. But like, if I was not a reviewer, I still think I would be burning, I think I would still be burning some fall candles, but certainly not Christmas and still having a uh, good rotation of summer candles. And then also the consideration is now that these candles are coming out in September, like what is going to be released for the rest of the year? We still have September, October, November, December. So that still leaves four months of releases to be had. And I'm sure they've thought that through and they might have something up their sleeves in terms of what's coming out for those four months. But now that Christmas is dropping so early, it's just like, well, what do we have to look forward to for the actual Christmas? Once again, they might already have a solution to that or they'll release more Christmas candles. But yeah, it's just kind of wonky with how these brands are really like bumping up all the, the, the seasonal launches now and it's to the point that it feels like so jarringly out of season where it's like 100 degrees and there's a hurricane and I just it doesn't feel uh right to be burning Christmas candles but I do it because I'm a reviewer so uh just kind of wonky yeah I honestly I guess wouldn't I, I mean I on one hand I really enjoy getting like the next season's releases early and it creates buzz and hype and it's fun to get what's new hello but at the same time I don't know I feel like we're almost crossing into territory where it's like too early that I just really like don't really want to smell peppermint or pine right now but I don't know it is what it is I'm sure there's a rhyme or reason to it Bath and Body Works is it really early and I think they're just like I guess like trying to beat them to the punch I, that's, that's just that's just total speculation so uh that's that there so yes um, now that that discussion is out of the way, I guess let me get into the five fragrances that I do have. Uh, the first one we have, so these are all in the three wick formats and which is nice because I want to test these out to see how they perform in comparison to the uh, two wick country jars as well as the Kringle jars. And so I have burned all five of the new ones just once already, about a two to three hour burn on each, just so I could get at least one burn in to talk about it to speak about the fragrance a little bit more accurately. Uh, so the first one we have is Winter Woods. 
I have to say I'm not a huge fan of the artwork on this, but being a designer myself for candles, I understand very much so now uh, that art and design is always subjective. So like what I might personally not enjoy, like you might still really enjoy it and that's fine. Like different opinions make the world go around. So I understand that. But for me, the three wicks from Kringle have just never been my cup of tea whatsoever. And that's just my opinion. You might enjoy them, but like, I just can't, I really can't get on board with this. Like this is not something I would ever personally design or <laughs> want decorated uh, in my house. So there's that. Also, I'm somebody who likes the collectible aspect of candles. So I personally enjoy when there is the name on the candle, like the title of the candle, because it's just like really like stamps this candle as this candle and like there's a name on it, which I appreciate. And these only just have the K on there. So I don't love that either. But once again, design and art is so subjective. So what I might not like, you might like and vice versa. So that's just my opinion. Uh, these are however like painted labels, which is kind of cool because they're like, permanently attached, well, maybe not permanently, but presumably permanently um, attached to the candle. Uh, and the illumination is kind of nice on it because it is like, like on the jar itself, the illumination uh, effect is quite nice on the artwork when it comes through. Uh, but yeah, so that's the uh, Winter Woods one right there. Uh, this one says Frosty Air Accord, Fur, Spearmint, Eucalyptus, Peppermint, Apple, Amber, Cedar, and Musk. Once again, like, just so many notes. Uh, I have run this one already, as you can see right there. They all have, like, the, I think the same wicks that the traditional two-wick Kringle jars have, which is, like, the flat curling ones that go in like this. Uh, on the first one, there was no sooting, like, crystal clear wax pull and, like, really no murkiness or issue there whatsoever. Uh, so we're good to go at least on the first burn. Um... Yeah, this one, wow. So I did an Instagram story about this. This is so strong and awesome. Like my qualm with the country candle and the Kringle candles where they, ju they just weren't strong enough. This one is actually quite strong. Uh, this one was the first one I burned that I was like, okay, maybe these three wicks have something going on for them. But kind of sad to say that they weren't quite the case for the other ones across the board. But this one's, oh my God, so strong. I had this going in the bedroom. I had to blow it after two to three hours because it was actually too strong, but I don't mind that. I like getting my money's worth, like if you're paying for these candles. Um, and like it knocked me out of the room, like a good, like nine, at, yeah, like in the eight to nine range. So I was happy about that because like I normally don't get a super strong throw from Kringle. So I was really happy about that. But this, smells a whole lot. I was like, wait, I feel like I've smelled this before. I kept burning it and I was like, it's something but with a twist. And it reminds me quite a bit of Sweater sweater Weather from Bath & Body Works, which is, this is the only one I have in my collection. So I'm honestly kind of excited to have a, uh, like a, a similar Sweater that Weather fragrance in my collection now. Uh, fresh Sage, Juniper Berry, and Aromatic Eucalyptus with Fresh Woods on this one. So you can see they definitely share the same like, what is it? Eucalyptus. Um, and I think this one definitely has mints and mint in it too. Uh, yeah, similar, similar notes on both of them. Yeah, this is like sweater weather high intensity. Like sweater weather is pretty strong from Bath and Body Works too, but this one was like dialed up like crazy. On this one, it's not an exact dupe, so don't think it's just like, you know, word for word or no for no, uh, sweater weather. Um, it's... Definitely has a stronger spearmint and peppermint. The spearmint is really like biting and crisp. You can smell like the fuzziness of the spearmint, but there's a peppermint in there as well. And the two mints together are very strong and very minty, is super cooling. Uh, but then, so you get a more dialed up mint experience in this versus sweater weather. And you also get um, a little bit more apple, which I enjoy. Cause like the sweater weather body care has, is a different fragrance from the candle. And I enjoyed that that one always had the apple in it. So I enjoyed that this one also has a stronger apple presence in it as well. Uh, but the apple's not like that super sticky, sweet syrupy sweet apple or uh like the sort of traditional apple that you get from bbw it's very much like a very unsweetened apple almost like to the point that it's apple skin uh mixed with that mint mixed with the eucalyptus and like the juniper and all that kind of stuff is totally in here uh but yeah if you want sweater weather but high intensity and then dial up the mint experience and the apple a little bit more then that's kind of what you get with uh winter woods uh because the mint was so cooling and so prominent, I feel like it made it a little bit more holiday than sweater weather, which is a fall and a winter fragrance at this point. Whereas this one's more so, I see it leaning more towards winter because that mint was so strong. But wow, sinus clearing, amazing. I, the throw on this was grand and I loved it. Uh, but I fear it might just be like this fragrance oil is really strong because once again, the other ones weren't quite anywhere near as strong as this one. But this one was a good start. So I appreciated how strong this one was. Um, and if there was one fragrance that was kind of like a, standout fragrance for me in the collection it would be this one especially so because it's the most quintessentially holiday which cannot be said for some of the other ones coming up so that was winter woods uh right there 
Uh, moving on, let's see, what do we have? Um, Christmas Cake Pops, which is cake batter, sugar to citrus, candy to sprinkle, swirls of butter, and vanilla frosting. And that's what that looks like right there. Once again, yeah, it's just kind of like sort of clip arty, so I'm not a fan of this, and I wouldn't really like decorate my home with this as well. But, oh my god, I love that. Uh, the, the I, I wish there was like Kringle Candle branding on this, but this, like this lid, just like the, the curves and the shiny and the glossiness on it, amazing. I love it. And like the fit on it is good too. Uh, I'm very particular when it comes to lids. Uh, and this gold finish and everything, I just love it. It's just like, it would be nice if it had the Kringle Candle name on it. Uh, like this one was hammered uh, though, however. Uh, let's see. I have burned this one. It was honestly kind of disappointing, to be honest. Uh, this one was probably the lightest out of them, which vanilla fragrances tend to have a lighter throw, so I'm not surprised, but I'm still hoping for something stronger because the Winter Woods was so immensely strong, like, out of the gate on the first burn. And once again, I only burned this one for maybe two to three hours on a first burn, so, like, maybe it could pick up a little bit more, but, like, Winter Woods was strong out of the gate and beyond strong, so I kind of had that as a baseline, if that makes sense. Um, this smells like a lemon cake pop. It's actually quite similar to the Lemon Cake Pop fragrance from Bath & Body Works. If you enjoy that one, this is very similar to it. It makes no... Oh, it doesn't mention citrus. Okay, I was like, it doesn't say lemon on here, but it does say citrus. But yeah, it smells like a lemon cake pop. You get kind of like sort of that hard lemon glazing of a cake pop with like a vanilla cake inside of it. It's not like overly like butter creamy, I would say. It's more just like a, just a generic like vanilla. Well, I don't want to say generic, but just like a base vanilla cake fragrance with like a lemon hard like fondant glaze on it is what I get from it. And it's nice. It smells like a lemon cake pop. And I enjoy that, but A, the throw wasn't super strong and B, like... I don't know, I, like, for Christmas, a lemon cake pop, I don't super equate that with Christmas. Like, I wouldn't mind, like, a peppermint cake pop or a candy cane cake pop or a gingerbread cake pop. But, like, a lemon one seems, like, very much, like, this is most certainly, like, a spring fragrance, in my opinion, because it's, like, so sugary sweet with that lemon in there. So, for a Christmas fragrance, it kind of uh, misses the mark for me. So, that was Christmas cake pops right there. And nothing about this other than the label and the name is Screams Christmas. But yeah, I would say the throw in a open concept area just on the first burn was maybe a two to, maybe a two to a three. I really couldn't smell it except if I was hovering directly over the candle. So a little bit of a bummer there. Uh, moving on, we have reindeer beer. And that's what that looks like. Um, and yeah. <laughs> Uh, kind of looks like wrapping paper. Uh, let's see. Fizzy root beer soda, Mrs. Claus's whipped batter, ginger, molasses, root chips, and vanilla. Uh, so I did burn this one already, and that's what that looks like. This is a straight-up root beer fragrance. Wow. Uh, yeah, which, once again, I just don't really quit root beer with Christmas, so I feel like it kind of misses the mark in terms of a very, like, Christmas holiday fragrance. Uh, I, I guess because Bath & Body Works releases their root beer float during a summer fragrance, I equate root beer with, like, a summer fragrance that you're, like, drinking when it's, like, hot out, like a soda fizzy fragrance. I, do you drink root beer for Christmas time? I, I don't drink soda, so I don't really know. But when I smell this, I don't equate it as a Christmas fragrance, at least for me personally. But... It smells like a root beer. Yeah, if you just want like a realistic root beer fragrance, it's definitely in there. But there's still a sweetness that you would get from like a very sugary sweet, like, uh, you know, 20 grams of added sugar type of soda, for, uh, like, feel is definitely in there. Um, so there's still sweetness in there. Uh, comparing it to like root beer float from Bath & Body Works, because this one has flow and presumably there's ice cream in there, um, you would think it's sweeter. And yeah, it's a little bit sweeter, but honestly not by that much. Like these are actually quite similar. I think this one's actually maybe a little bit more authentic in terms of all the root beer, like notes and spices or whatever the ingredients are in the root beer. I think it's a little bit more authentic, but it's still similarly sweet that, um, like I wouldn't say like, oh my God, wow, this is so ice creamy and creamy. Uh, they're pretty on par, honestly. Um, root beer is a very novelty fragrance for me, kind of like licorice or uh, like many candy fragrances. I just don't necessarily like gravitate towards them in terms of wanting them, my house to smell like it. So I'm not personally a huge fan of this fragrance, but if you like root beer, it smells like root beer. So there's that. Uh, let's say I burned this one in my office for two to three hours. Uh, and I would say it was like a good four to a five, like very much in the medium range. Uh, like kind of just like the average though you, that you get from Kringle was what I got in my bedroom. It wasn't unscented. It wasn't super strong blow you out of the house like the Winter Woods was, but I could still smell it. So I would say medium on that one. Uh, moving on, we have Kringle cookies right here. And that's what that looks like. Um, yeah. Uh, chocolate, espresso accord, steamed milk, cocoa, brown sugar, and cream. And this one, honestly, it's kind of 
unremarkable on cold, but it did come alive a little bit more when I was burning it. And it was actually kind of scrumptious and I didn't want to blow it out when I was burning it last night. Um, and so there is like a awesome, like, I don't know, baking cookie fragrance. It's a little bit more on like the darker cocoa side rather than just like plain vanilla, which I appreciated. But on cold, you definitely get that like sort of soy wax fragrance that I get, tend to get with a lot of their bakery fragrances for whatever reason. That on cold, it was a little unremarkable, but when you go to burn it, um, yeah, there was a nice sort of like cakey cookie baking aspect in there with a little bit of those like, uh, you know, a brown sugar type of like baking spice feel was in there, but there was a creaminess in there as well. Um, as for the espresso accord, I don't, I don't really get espresso or coffee, like nothing by the way of like Paris Cafe or freshly brewed coffee. Um, I don't really get heaps of a coffee fragrance. I wouldn't even necessarily like go to espresso if it wasn't listed on there. It's more like just like a sort of slightly, like a slightly cocoa dusted cookie is what it smells like. It, and it smells nice, but yeah. Uh, the throw on this was very much like in the three to a four range in my bedroom. So once again, like this was right after the winter woods was burning. So I was hoping for much stronger, but it was in the three to four, like light to medium range was how this one performed, at least in the first burn. So that was that right there. Honestly, wouldn't mind um, more, more chocolate and more espresso, like compared to all the other chocolate and espresso fragrances out there, this is very subdued in comparison. Uh, moving on to the last Christmas one that I have, and that is pomegranate punch right there. And that's what that looks like. Um, pomegranate, cranberry, apple, cinnamon, violet, jasmine, cedarwood, musk, and vanilla. Uh, I did burn this one, obviously, as well, as you can see. Yeah, this one's interesting. It's like a perfumey pomegranate. <laughs> um, I can't say I'm a huge fan of it, to be honest. Um, it has like an effervescent, sparkling, sort of like drink, cocktail drink, like Welch's juice type of pomegranate juice feel to it that is nice. But there's like this weird, like... I don't know, kind of like just a weird perfuminess that's coming from the violet and the jasmine, I guess, um, that throws it off a little bit. It kind of reminds me of like the weird combo that was the candied sugar plum from the Slacken Days from BBW, which I just did it in that mini video, and that's why it's like top of mind right now, in that sense that it was like a berry fruit fragrance with like this like perfumey punch fragrance. So it's kind of like the candied sugar plum thing from uh, Slacken & Co. Yeah, it's like fruity, but also strangely floral in the background at the same time. Um, yeah, not my favorite. Um, let's see. But it wasn't it wasn't offensive. It didn't have like the disgusting like artificial synthetic chemical crap that we get from BBW a lot of times with their drink fragrances. So don't don't think that. Like it's totally a serviceable fragrance, but yeah. Um, let's see, I had it going in my bedroom and I would say similarly like in the four to five range. I could smell it and I could smell it no problem. And just like very much in the medium range. Uh, so that was the pomegranate punch right there. And that's what that looks like. Uh, this one is fruity, so once again, this could be more of a spring fragrance or even summer, but I think because there's a slight, like, that sort of, like, festive cocktail blend type of, uh, like, jazz to it, that this seems like it could be appropriate for Christmas in that type of, like, champagne type of way, uh, that this one, it could go either way, but still not, like, screams Christmas. I think the only one that really screamed Christmas to me and I, that I appreciated for that was the Winter Woods one. So, yeah. Honestly, I was hoping for a little bit more, like, in-your-face Christmas trees or peppermints and that kind of stuff. And I think that might exist with the other collection. Uh, let's see. So the Father Christmas, I didn't receive that one in the three-wick because it wasn't available at the time yet. There's a blue spruce that's supposed to, supposed to be amazing. And I wouldn't mind smelling that, but once again, it came in the country jar, so I didn't get that. Holly Berry sounds like that could be very Christmas too. So maybe if you want your Christmas, you're going to have to go over to the country candle side. Uh, peppermint and cocoa is very Christmas too. Uh, so you might want to check that out. Uh, Tis the Season has bergamot, lavender, cardamom, amber, cedar and snowflakes um i don't really know how that's going to turn out but it sounds like maybe it would be like more of a clean uh christmas fragrance uh white chocolate cheesecake that could kind of in the way that vanilla is all year around that could be all year around uh and then there's wishing for christmas this one i really wanted to smell too because it was the one that had the cookies and the pine and the vanilla mixed with it and i love when i get like a pine gourmand fragrance uh but once again i didn't receive that one uh either but that one sounds like it could be a fun juicy unique christmas fragrance too so i think if you want the really like quintessentially holiday fragrance you're gonna have to straight to the country candle side which is not available in the three-wick format as you saw in this video so there's that uh, and then they did send a six one along to like 
finish the crate off uh, in shipment. And that is the donut worry one, which I've actually had this one before in the two wick jar. Baked donut, sweet sprinkles, slightly fruity, buttery, nutmeg, cinnamon, creamy, vanilla icing. Um, I, this one was just like completely unscented in the two wick jar, so I couldn't recommend the two wick jar. I haven't burned this one yet just because I received this package very recently. Uh, but yeah, it's like this sort of like yeasty, powdery, like powdered sugar fragrance with like a yeasty like bakery note mixed in with it. Uh, it's the closest thing is pumpkin donut shop from BBW is very reminiscent to this. But once again, the two wick was unscented. I don't know how the three wick will be, uh, but we'll see. Uh, so that was the donut worry one right there um yeah once again the packaging not a huge fan especially on this one uh so that was that i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for crinkle candle for still sending out these candles to me for review um it's it's still just as a candle lover it's fun among the fragrances and still talking about them here on camera so i will continue to do it if they get sent to me uh and once again you can use my code the candle channel for a discount online so thanks so much uh let me know what your thoughts on all down below and i'll talk to you guys later bye